Back on Sports Bit, Betty and Inside today, Paulie and Teddy, time for a big game breakdown. As always, live odds, sportsbookreview.com. Army, Navy from Baltimore. Navy, 6, 47 and a half the total. Army has not won since 2001. The gap is closing, though, after the stretch of nine straight and double figures for the last five losses by seven points or less. Army, 4 and 1 ATS in those games, Teddy. And Navy, a bit of a gamble joining the American Athletic Conference because they were in the title game last week now. Sure. I mean, and the biggest game on Navy schedule every year is supposed to be Army and vice versa. I mean, this is an old-timey rivalry. They have their own weekend, you know, where nothing else is going on in college football except for Army-Navy. So this is big time. And when you talk about the fact that Army hasn't won since 2001 in this series and that four of the last five losses by a touchdown or less excruciating defeats for Army. They've been covering numbers, not good enough to actually win the games. Then we talk about the gamble for Navy. Yeah, when you, when you join a conference like the AAC, you have a chance to win a conference. You have a chance to step up the program. You have a chance to play in some big-time bowl games. But the downside of that, any time that they could qualify for the AAC title game, it's going to mean playing Army without any break. This is the eighth straight week that Navy is going to be playing. Meanwhile, Army, they haven't played since rolling Morgan State back on November 19th. They haven't played a D1 foe since the week before that. So full focus on one game for three weeks for Army. Navy, they were playing for a conference championship last week, and they lost, and they got wiped out in that contest. Different level of focus, even though it is. They're our tribal. And it got worse because against Temple, quarterback Will Worth got hurt and the co-captain running back Gully was injured. Worth averaged 12 uh, yards per pass. Quarter rating of almost, uh, QB rating of almost 180. Would have been number four in the nation if he had enough attempts to qualify. Gully, four touchdowns. Now Neil Matololo faces his biggest challenge against Army because what do we know about these quarterbacks? What do we know about some of the backups? Well, we know that before Worth got hurt, Right here on Sports, we were saying this guy's got to be in the Heisman discussion, which, of course, he wasn't going to be. But when you talk about a Navy offense, that for the month of November, four games, two punts and one turnover combined, all right, that's how good their offense was. Now you lose Will Worth and you lose uh, Taneo Gully, you know, which is not your two locker room leaders, your two best players. It's a big deal. <laughs> you know, the, the sophomore, Zach Abbey, takes over at quarterback. He hadn't thrown a pass until coming in against Temple last week, and he wasn't very good through a pair of interceptions in that ballgame. Here's the quote from the offensive coordinator, Ivan Jasper. Quote, he's up for next week in the biggest game of the year, and we've got to get him ready to go. I'm not going to let it change the game plan. We've got to go out and play. We can't play tight. We can't play scared. we got to go out and play. He's got enough reps in practice to where he knows what's going on, and we've got to go out there and just play. If you note the common theme in Jasper's quote, just go out there and play, just go out there and play, just go out there and play. He's trying to get his team not to focus on the fact they're going to have a very inexperienced quarterbacks uh, going up against Army, replacing an elite QB who was the backup to begin with. You remember, Worth started the year as the backup. So Abby is now the third stringer, a guy they really hoped wasn't going to have to take a snap this season. Jasper saying, hey, we're going to do the best we can. But obviously, so far this week, Polly, the money in this game has been completely one-sided. They have bet Army in every way possible, hand over fist, wise guy money, coming in on the Black Knights. People I respect like the under. Did this game come up at the Tuesday group? What do you think of the total? <laughs> All the games come up at the Tuesday group is what we do. I mean, uh, Polly, of course, referencing uh, a group that I've been going to basically since I got to Vegas 20 years ago. A bunch of old guys sitting around in sweatpants, uh, breaking down every single game in college football every week. And it's something I do. It's a fun little social experience that, of course, you know, gets me out of the house, uh, gets me in the mix of talking to a lot of different people and getting a lot of different varying uh, opinions. Uh, but uh, for this game, certainly there was some interest uh, on the under, and there was a lot of interest uh, for the Army side of the equation. Uh, at the time, the line was as high as seven. Those were getting wiped out. The six and a half has been wiped out. Now we're talking about sixes. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Research before you bet. 
be sure to check out SPR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.